welcome back everyone so today we should have uh, hopefully straightforward repair it's a Nintendo DSi that does not charge or turn on because as you can clearly see that jack is destroyed so let's jump right in and start taking this thing apart just gonna remove all the screws I see Okay, so have all the screws out of it, because I think. Yep. And should I just be able to kind of pry this thing up? I think you want to be careful with the yellow, uh, you know, trigger pads there. Okay. So, uh, I think I pulled up a little too hard. These things popped out, but you'd want to be um, careful when initially taking it apart. Or maybe they weren't connected, honestly. I don't know. Okay. Well, there's the jack that we need to remove. Let's see. I think the best way might be to actually take the board out. So let's see what that entails. So a couple ribbon connectors that need to come out. this battery connector plus this Wi-Fi connector I guess and off to the side and then maybe this little CD connector something like that And there's another connector under here. A lot of little connectors. Okay, so I think all the connectors are out. Now we just have to take all the screws we see. Oh, I'm gonna start paying attention because they are different links. So we don't wanna mix them up. Okay, it looks like just that upper right hand corner one is just the small one. So as long as I don't like become a goldfish and lose my memory before this is done, hopefully I can just remember to put that up there. Okay, I think everything is unhooked. Oh, there is another connector. <coughs> Excuse me. On this side. So just make sure to remove that. Come on. Probably the other screen. One's probably for the top screen, the other I assume is the bottom screen. Mm 
Yeah, so I think that was a good idea to take this out, because at least now we can get <laughs> under there and actually properly remove this jack without, you know, you could have, like, cut this and then use heat to wiggle everything through, but at least from here we'll be able to put the anchor points through the, through the holes and, you know, get a nice proper solid connection. So... Let's do that. I'm just gonna warm up my solder and iron and let's see what's the best way. Okay, so I'm probably gonna try and remove the solder from those two pins. Then there's also solder golden. I guess it looks like, well, should be four pins, but one of them is missing. I'm not, not sure if you can see it. But yeah, let's see if we can get this done somewhat nicely. Okay, so we get you guys a better look and hop to it. Okay, so just gonna add a little bit of uh, flux. Add a little bit of a new solder to make the old solder. Well, this is probably lead-free solder, so I'm gonna add a little bit of lead solder to lower the melting point and just kind of make everything flow a little bit easier. up the solder with some solder work. Now it's burning my finger. Hot water burn, baby. Let's see if that might be enough. Okay. So now, what's going to be the best way to do this? So we have to get the these other anchor pieces up. They're not through hole. So I think the easiest way might actually be just to cut this. So let's try that. It's already destroyed, so we don't care. It just ripped right out. Actually, hopefully, well, most of it did. That's not good. Hopefully, it didn't destroy any of the pads. Kind of trying to avoid that. Where that anchor is, and this is not even being held on either. But that one piece that's still intact is. Let's just apply a little bit of heat.
Okay. Oh, couldn't see that. I'm sorry. But I just applied heat to that pad and when it got warm enough, plucked, plucked the rest of that piece up. Okay, so now let's clean this whole area up a little bit. So I'm just going to add some solder to the area. Okay, so we got solder there, and now I'm just going to wick it all up. Okay, now we clean it up. Just using some 99% isopropyl alcohol on a Q-tip. You want to be careful when you're doing this because there's these little connectors that are all right here, you don't really want to burn anything. That's kind of why I decided not to use like a heat gun or anything, just because I don't want to like, you know, tape this up with like capped on tape to try and protect it and all that fun stuff in it. You know, it's easy enough to do it this way. I'm going to add more flux and Tin up those four pads. Okay. Time to get a Placement port. So we got our nice replacement one. Just pop that in. Underneath it, tack it in here. A little bit of flux. <coughs> Excuse me. And some solder.
Okay, probably have to go back and just touch that up real quick. And now I want to kind of make sure this sits flat. So I'm just going to grab my tweezers and push down, put my iron on this side. Should heat up eventually and Okay, let's move down a little bit. Do the same with the other side. I just want to solder down these other pins here. Like that side actually is a little bit more solder. Just gonna put it on the actual iron. Put a little bit more flux. any bridges everything seems soldered on pretty nicely maybe a little too much solder but should add some strength to it hopefully okay well let's get this thing back together and test So we have this put back together, so let's put the battery in, close the battery cover, and see if it charges. It, you know, turns on and all that fun stuff. Got this off of eBay, so there could be other stuff wrong with it, who knows. Okay, so now, nice new jack in there. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, so we plugged it in. Uh, there's the charging light. Uh, the battery appears to be charging. Everything is working fine. Uh, when I turned this unit on, it goes to what appears to be, you know, like some family photos and stuff like that. So I decided to edit that stuff out so that, you know, it wouldn't be in the video. But there we go. We replaced the charging port and uh, everything appears to be working fine. So thanks for checking out this video. If you like the video, be sure to like it. If you like the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, anyway, thanks again for checking it out. See you guys later.